Hi, I'm Enzo Carter, and I know it's been a while since my last video, but um, we're doing it again. And right here, we've got some new finds that we found at um, uh, Ram's uh, surplus junk, uh, basically computer graveyard, you could say. And uh, one of them is this high voltage uh, discharge rod. Uh, that's what we think it is. If you uh, have any advice of, you know, you, if you know what this is, please tell us. And back here is a 1.8 giga ohm resistor, gigantic, and uh, we are thinking of maybe using it as a ballast resistor on our reactor. And today's focus of the video is the new pulse arc welder. And with the pulse arc welder, um, you see here's the welding rod, and uh, this is pretty sharp actually. But what happens is it only um, welds to metal right now. It's on. It only welds to metal, so I can touch it with my finger. And here you see this little piece right here. This is a microscope I got pretty recently. And what happens, that part right there is a, um, uh, what's it called? Welding, welding glass, which is the same thing as these goggles. What happens is when it sees a bright enough light to hurt your eyes, this, the glass, the green glass, just instantly goes dark so you can't see it. You might be wondering what these two are. So right here, this is the power in percentage. This is um, 20% right now. It, this is 20% right now. And down here is um, uh, the time in milliseconds. Now here's how a pul the pulse arc welder works. So down here, we have our argon gas tank. And it is uh, inert, which means it doesn't oxidize, which you know is burning. And uh, over, it connects to over here, which basically what happens when we touch something against it. You hear that noise? That's a, a, a argon gas being pushed out. So this is a, a low voltage, high current tip. And that, the high current makes when you see that little ball, that ball is a, a plasma ball and inside it is the melted metal that's exceeded its melting point. And it cools and since our argon gas is non, is a um, inert gas, it um, uh, doesn't oxidize or uh, burns. And that gives a very nice weld. <clears throat> now we're going to show you a pulse. Our cameraman right now is wearing pr the protective goggles I just showed you. And while I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be looking through here, which has the welding glass on it, which is good. And while I'm doing it, I'm just going to hit this just to demonstrate. And over here, I might change the power during it. All right. Get it near there. Adjust this a little bit. As you can see right there, I hit it a little bit, and I'm going to this to about 12. Oh, that's too high. And this to like 4, I guess. We're going to hit it but a little harder now. And right there, you can see, actually, I missed it a little bit. It's a little, still a little hot. Right there, I uh, curved off, but it did do a harder punch. The melting point of tungsten is about 6,000 degrees, so it's a little bit hard to weld. And the piece is attached. Still a little bit hot. There we go. Now we're going to polish it up. So, safety glasses. So, hold on. You don't want to polish your fingers. So, it's at not uh, like super high uh, speeds. So, they don't fly across the room. Turn that down a little bit. Now 
now that it's all pop now it's all polished up and it looks pretty nice what do you say And now we're going to take a look at this one. This is a different cathode, and uh, it's got some pretty big welding spots. We uh, we did try this in my reactor, but it's pretty too big. Like, this one is the one that worked well. It, you can see the size difference very well. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for coming and learning about pulse arc welding. Very neat thing if you want to make cathodes or jewelry. And thank you so much for all the support on the channel, and goodbye. And there, that is not where we go. And what happens is, it just, when the argon, it, it, what happens is, it's a DC current. It's a DC, DC voltage, uh, DC, this is um, a, what is, this is a low voltage, high current tip, so the current is so much current that hits it, it melts, that's what you see for like a split second, the little ball of melted metal that hasn't, that's cooling, and, is that right? Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to Exos <laughs> Channel! Okay, I'm this guy. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.